This is the new Nikon Z52. It comes five years after the original Z50 and brings many of the pro-level features from Nikon's recent full-frame cameras like the Z9 and the Z8 to their smaller DX or APS-C lineup. This means you're getting the newest X-Speed 7 processor for excellent autofocus performance, pre-release photo capture, and log video recording, fast burst rates, and improved battery life, as well as some brand new groovy features like a dedicated button for accessing picture controls. All of which is to say that the Z52 is an accessible camera for beginner photographers and content creators that still packs plenty of professional features that all users will definitely appreciate. But first, we gotta have the specs talk. Like the original Z50, this is a 20.9 megapixel APS-C compact mirrorless camera, making it more portable than Nikon's full frame lineup while still being compatible with all Z series lenses. But past the similarity, just about everything has been upgraded from the original Z50, starting with that XP7 processor. Now this greatly improves autofocus performance, adding 3D tracking, as well as nine total subject detection modes for things like people, dogs, cats, birds, and planes, trains, and automobiles. High-speed frame capture is possible too, with up to 30 frames per second possible in electronic shutter and 11 frames per second mechanical. The 3.2-inch LCD screen is now fully very angle as opposed to just flip down, and the EVF is now able to get twice as bright at up to 1,000 nits. On the back of the camera, you also have many more buttons and controls than you did on the previous Z50, but the one button here that's brand new to any Nikon camera is a dedicated picture control button near your top dials. Now this, you will be shocked to hear, gives you access to picture controls, which allow you to add different stylized looks to your photos right in camera and range from the subtle to very stylized. Now Nikon has had these picture controls in their cameras for a while, but having them instantly accessible via a button as opposed to being buried in menus made me much more inclined to bounce between them. I really liked what landscape and deep tone monochrome did right out of the box for some of my test images, but all of these can be tweaked to get the exact recipe you're looking for, and through Nikon Imaging Cloud, tons of Nikon and creator-made recipes will be available for you to add. And for video shooters, there is a lot to like here too. This is Nikon's first DX camera that can shoot in 10-bit N-Log, giving you a lot more latitude to color grade your images in post. It can also now shoot oversampled 4K 60 frames per second, albeit with a 1.5 times crop, and up to 120 frames per second in 1080p, fully uncropped. It also adds waveform monitoring, a tally lamp, improved vibration reduction, and the ability to record for over two hours continuously to really round out its video recording bona fides. Finally, for content creators, it also adds a product review mode, which allows the camera to instantly snap its focus to any object placed in front of the lens. There's tons of other cool stuff in the Z52 that we have to at least briefly shout out. It includes and utilizes a new higher capacity ENEL25A battery, but it's still backwards compatible with the previous EL25 batteries from the original Z50. It includes the same mic and micro HDMI ports from the previous gen, but finally adds a headphone jack and USB-C port for power delivery and UVC USB streaming support for computers and smartphones. And lastly, I mentioned it's compact, but it is worth mentioning just how compact. It weighs just over a pound and measures in at just 5 inches by 3.8 by 2.6 inches, making it perfect for travel and other related hijinks. We had a lot of fun with the Z52 in our brief hands-on time with it. It really trickles down a lot of Nikon's pro-level features from its flagship cameras while simultaneously adding more accessible features for content creators like the picture control button and product review modes. So if you're looking for a compact and accessible camera that still doesn't skimp on professional photo and video features, the Z52 is definitely worth a serious look. But what are your thoughts on this camera? Let us know in the comments below. Seriously, we do read them. I'm Nick with B&H. Stay creative.